How you doing? I'm Mike Gaddy, and welcome to the 743 Patterson Park Podcast. Yesterday was supposed to be the grand unveiling of a brand new street mural uh, on a house um, on Collington Avenue between Baltimore and Lombard, uh, about a block and a half from Patterson Park. Unfortunately, that grand unveiling didn't quite happen because there was a huge cherry picker in the alley um, that the artists had used to create the mural and they're waiting for it to be moved before they could do the unveiling. Um, Grant McGuire, the owner of the house and the guy who arranged to have the mural painted, was really afraid that kids would get hurt playing on the, playing on the cherry picker or that I would get hurt playing on the cherry picker, which I probably would have. Uh, <clears throat> so anyway, bottom line is that the, um, that the new unveiling will be next Friday uh, at the mural, Baltimore and Lombard on, on uh, Collington Avenue. Um, and uh, Grant uh, McGuire invites you to, uh, to attend. Meanwhile, here's my conversation with Grant about the mural, about what it depicts, and even about how it was funded. Uh, so I hope you enjoy. The Butchers Hill Community Association, uh, myself, uh, Justin, who's his first name is Justin, and uh, some community members, we applied for the grant, uh, worked with the Baltimore Office of Promotion and Arts, um, and after a long 12-month process, uh, finally have the, uh, the piece that's, that's up there that you see today. So you just said the ADHD killer for this, which is it took 12 months to get, the, to get it all. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. So I actually, I've lived in the house for a year. I purchased it uh, last October. Um, and I purchased it with the thought of having an exterior wall um, and putting some street art up there. Um, and I saw an opportunity. It was like a really ugly green. I called it the, the green monster. And, uh, and I saw it as an opportunity. A lot of people pass up on the house probably because of that. So the wall depicts uh, three kind of separate ideas or notions of the community. Uh, one, across the top, you'll see uh, cafe lights. And so uh, Butcher's Hill was kind of the starter of the lights on the street. Um, it's a program through the Butcher Hill Community Association that uh, puts cafe lights over the sidewalks and over the alleyways to make a brighter, safer, more aesthetically pleasing neighborhood. Uh, the second part of the art is people doing exactly what I'm doing right now. Uh, sitting on a stoop, shooting the shit, drinking wine, hanging with dogs, uh, just being friendly neighbors and coming together to kind of oversee what's going on uh, in the neighborhood. That's not just a Butcher's Hill thing, that's more of a Baltimore thing. Um, and then last but not least, uh, we have two children on the right side of the wall that are playing with chalk. Uh, a big thing in Butcher's Hill is, is chalk night for the kids, where people go out and, and hang out and um, stoop sit and, and watch the kids kind of just, you know, play on the sidewalk and, and Play with chalk, so it's all intertwined by some uh, ribbons and streaks and kind of uh, unrealistic pieces that would not normally be in, on an actual street. Uh, but we kind of wanted that to intertwine everything. Uh, the name of the piece, technically through the grant, is called Butcher's Hill Stoop Dream, um, so it should have that like dreamy aspect of. Uh, what's going on. It's supposed to kind of challenge the thought of the future, right? Like who's shaping the future and really that's the kids, right? They're the ones that are designing it with their chalk, right? Um, it's supposed to be a diverse wall with different you know, races and, and women and men and of all different genders and uh, backgrounds. And, and last question, it, um, it, the unveiling was going to be tonight it was pushed from another night and do you know when the grand unveiling will yeah, now yeah yeah so so there's the lift is still here which is why we uh we, we couldn't have it tonight just for safety reasons and kids climbing up on the lift we didn't want that happening but uh it's still scheduled for next friday um october 30th cool okay or michael climbing up on the lift yeah <laughs> thanks so much for talking to me hopefully yeah. people will come by and see the great uh great mural thanks for moving to the neighborhood yeah appreciate right. it right. come by anytime this is 
not my wall. This is the community's wall. I want everybody to enjoy it and hopefully bring some light to, uh, to this part of the city. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. So I'd really like to thank Grant McGuire for taking the time to talk to me about his mural project. Uh, I hope to see you on October 30th, right outside his house, uh, at 5.30 p.m. for the grand unveiling. Hopefully the cherry picker won't be there, because if it is, I'm doing a Tarzan. Uh, on the next podcast, I'm going to have Kate on. Kate is an artist who has pioneered the Black Lives Matter window murals that you see throughout the neighborhood. Uh, to date, her organization has painted more than 100 Black, Live Mat Black Lives Matter windows murals, and we're going to talk to her. Uh, hopefully that podcast will roll out later this week. Thank you so much for listening.